So in this video, we're gonna tell you why the full bandwidth HDMI 2.1 does matter, the full 48 to be specific, versus the 40 gigabits per second LG is using on the LG C10 and other TVs in 2020. Now, before I get there, I'm gonna tell you guys again about this right here, Xbox Series X, because I had people in my last video kind of have some misunderstanding about this, so I wanna clarify it for everybody. So if you look under video encoder and decoder, Xbox Series X is touting 4K slash 8K, AVC and HEVC. This is massive because this means for you that they are touting 8K with BT2020 color because that's what HEVC is. So 8K with BT2020 color would need more bandwidth than the mere 40 gigabits per second Vincent Tio on HDTV test is suggesting that it is. Albeit, Microsoft hasn't confirmed anything yet. Microsoft hasn't said whether it's 40 gigabits per second or 48 gigabits per second. So it's an educated best, uh, a guess at best, okay? But I'm suggesting that it's more because you have 8K with, again, BT2020 color, which, again, is something that you should look forward to, but you, you do need more bandwidth when you're talking about stuff like that. Now, I want to make this as easy as possible to digest. I see a lot of people talking about you only need 40 gigabits per second, and it drives me crazy because HDMI 2.1 is about future-proofing for standards to come, not about things we have today. LG is cheating you by giving you what we have today, and I'll explain how. On the LG C10, you can do 444 RGB chroma sampling at 4K 120 hertz with 10 bits. If that's all you care about, and you don't want to grow any further past that point, then buy the C10. However, if you care about what HDMI 2.1 truly has to offer you, then listen to this next part. You cannot have RGB chroma sampling 444 at a resolution of 4K with a refresh rate of 120 hertz with HDR BT 2020 color coverage uncompressed with lossless audio VRR and the list goes on without full bandwidth HDMI 2.1, and that is why it matters. It matters because the future growth of HDR content like Dolby Vision, HDR10+, HLG, will be playing on the BT2020 color space as we go further and further into the future, which is what HDMI 2.1 is about. Furthermore, it matters for things like the PlayStation 5, who build an entire system around this three-dimensional immersive audio. If you want lossless audio, which is the cornerstone of PlayStation 5, get full bandwidth HDMI 2.1 because compression also is why you need the full 48 gigabits per second. The less bandwidth you have, the more compression you are introducing into your video source or audio source. So the more bandwidth you have, the better your quality is going to be. And at the end of the day, that's why the full bandwidth matters. You know, a lot of people talk about you never need it because you can slime by with these metrics that make a manufacturer not have to spend more money. Let's be clear, LG is only doing what they have to do right now in 2020 because they know that right now in 2020, yeah, sure, there's no content to take advantage of HDMI 2.1 to its fullest capabilities. So why would they spend the money on the chipset? They can make you buy something that's hot right now that takes care of your needs right now, but what about the future? What about the reason you came to LG to buy an HDMI 2.1 TV? What about the reason everybody got excited about HDMI 2.1? Everybody got excited to move from 18 gigabits per second on HDMI 2.0 to 48 gigabits per second, not 40. And the fact that LG gave that to you in 2019 and took it away in 2020 tells you that they're cutting corners likely for after the launch of PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X when they actually try to make a TV tailored around gaming. I'm just gonna throw that out there. And if you wanna be left behind, you want more compression, by all means, buy what you can to slime by and do what you gotta do. But I'm trying to set people up for the future. I'm trying to set people up for years to come. That's why I'm the number one brand in honesty, because I don't think just for the commission I could make today or tomorrow, I'm thinking about people and what this does to them in their everyday lives. So again, when I tell you that you should buy something that is full bandwidth HDMI 2.1, if you are looking at HDMI 2.1, do it. Because you you can, what's the worst that happens? It's better to have it and not need it than need it and not have it. And I can guarantee you, 
compression is still going to be a problem on next generation consoles. I mean, we already see them talking about things like DSC, which is a form of compression. Now, they try to claim it's lossless compression, but there's no such thing as lossless compression. You cannot losslessly compress something. You can claim it's visibly imperceptible, but without a way to directly compare at this point in time, we don't actually know. But I can tell you the same thing holds true when you're talking about any form of compression. So why would you want a more compressed audio? Why would you want a more compressed video? I don't know, but it does matter if you want to get around those things. You want uncompressed 4K, 120 hertz, chroma sampling, 444, and the list goes on with BT2020 color. So I hope this clears it up for anybody trying to come on and say you don't need 12-bit color on a 10-bit display. Again, H.265 is BT2020 color. HEVC is BT2020 color. When you see VP9, that is BT2020 color. Now, when you, again, want to do that uncompressed at 4K 120 hertz, you're going to have to slap some more bandwidth. I've said it like five or six times running around in circles in this video on purpose so that you guys could really understand what I'm saying for the ones in the back that are having a really hard time with this. It's not rocket science. The, the people making HDMI 2.1 standards didn't do it at 48 gigabits per second because they didn't understand what they were making, right? And I'm going to ask you with this, uh, I'm going to leave you with this and ask you this question, okay? If 48 gigabits per second isn't needed, why isn't 40 gigabits per second the HDMI 2.1 full bandwidth? If it really didn't matter, why isn't 40 gigabits per second the real standard? Because at the end of the day, it does matter, and anyone trying to shortchange you is not setting you up for the future. If you really want to be set up good, you don't want to have buyer's remorse, do it the way I'm telling you, and you'll be good to go. Or you could just do it your way and, you know, hey, we'll see how that turns out. That being said, I want to thank all of you for listening, watching, and being a part of the number one brand in honesty, where I just tell you like it is, spend my money so that you don't have to, and keep it real with you all the time. So, hey, smack a like on this video for just being that guy, man. And until the next video, I'll see you guys later.